You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Halt and Catch Fire After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Halt and Catch Fire After Show. Hey there, AfterBuzzers. What's going on? Welcome, of course, to the Halt and Catch Fire After Show here on AfterBuzz TV, talking about Season 1, Episode 6, Landfall. I'm Matt Lieberman. Joining me, as always, the fantastic panels here. Jesse Klein's here. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Yell Teagle's here. Hey, everybody. And Isaac Johnson's here. What up, y'all? Steven Lemieux in the booth. Thank you, Steven. Yo. Yeah. Uh, folks, before we get into it, I bring it up every week. Have you bought the book yet? Have you bought the book, The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness by Maria Menounos? If you had, you know, we started this podcast six weeks ago. If you had, by now, you might have dropped a nice share of weight because of all the wonderful exercises and uh, recipes held inside and learned so many wonderful anecdotes about our founder, Maria Menounos. So pick up the book. It's available on Amazon. It's in all the bookstores. It's tearing up the bestseller list. Yes, Go sir. get The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Folks, I was talking about last week, and we, we were having this discussion, and the thing I said that I wanted, does anyone remember? I what is it? Roll, uh, I remember I what you wanted. I said... You wanted like a, like a nice, like a BLT. Yeah. But like... That had like, sat on a roof for yeah. a good yeah. six yeah. hours yeah. on so a hot day. I down with an orange. I thought so. you said, <laughs> I want candy. I think that was... No, that's uh, that's an Aaron Carter song. Uh, <laughs> that is yeah. not an Aaron Carter song. I don't, think, Carter I don't song. think it's an Aaron yeah. Carter song. Originally, yeah. it was a, a lot older. I know. I'm aware. No, I said I want... Oh, do you want to throw a joke in? No, I don't have a joke. Okay. I'm not a jokester. Oh, right. You wanted redeemable characters. I wanted, wanted redeemable to characters. See a side of Joe that we didn't think we were going to get to see. Yeah, and I wanted to root for them. I wanted <laughs> an episode with some emotional depth for oh, our characters, mm-hmm. and we got it this week. Did yeah, not yeah. remember you saying that. That's what I said. You can go back if someone wants to go back and call me on it. You're more than well. Pretty sure it was BLT. But let's I, go with actually, it. I'm yeah. going to go with Jesse on this one. BLT. Yeah. BLT. I, I, I'm not a mayo guy, and oh, we're not saying so it has not, to have mayo on it. A BLT Bacon, is lettuce, not substantial. Tomato. Guys, as a I want a cabbage patch doll. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> can, can the cabbage please? patch. Can I just uh, an editorial here at the top? Yeah. Let's the editorial editorial corner with Matt. <laughs> the Cabbage Patch dolls are disturbingly weird looking, yeah. and they mm. offer no value as a toy other than just existing. Yeah, they they f- do not do anything in particular. They do not pee the pants, and then you can clean it. They do not have hair that changes color. They do not have a dream house. They are just a hard head, soft body, weird looking child thing. <laughs> Yeah. End editorial. What? Um, they what fall into the uncanny valley for sure. And they definitely do. Is there a doll looking. that pees his pants yes. that can clean up? What yes. kind of dolls were you playing with? Yeah, man. Um, I just saw the commercials. No, man. there were a lot of dolls. I'm just going to, as a girl who grew up with Cabbage Patch dolls as well as other dolls. Um, is, this, is this an editorial or is this? this... No, this is just fact. Okay. This okay. is fact. 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 fact corner with Yale Teagle. <laughs> no, don't quote yeah. me on this. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, the Cabbage Patch dolls, the reason they were so wonderful is because the body was soft and you could snuggle with it, whereas other dolls, like the ones that you could pee, uh, that would pee and you'd clean up, or the ones that you fed and their food came out their backpack, um, <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Um, those <laughs> ones were all solid okay. and you couldn't snuggle with them. Got the Cabbage it. Patch dolls, you could. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Fair. I just think they're creepy. <laughs> they were wonderful. They had these giant... Um, creepy. No. <laughs> Tommy from Rugrats, they had heads like his. It was this giant head I would with put, no I hair. would posit that Tommy from Rugrats is a creepy design. Yeah, it was a creepy looking kid. <laughs> it's a creepy looking kid. No, uh, no matter how they drew him and all grown up, he looked creepy. All right, we gotta we gotta talk about this episode. This is talking about the episode. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so we're talking about adults. Yeah. Uh, you know, I... 
here's where I'm at. You know, we're we're over halfway through the season, mm -hmm. and I'm still not entirely sure what this show wants to be or what its ambitions are. Mm -hmm. We know that we're, we're making headway towards having a computer hit the market. Mm -hmm. We're slowly, achingly slowly, uh, starting to delve into our characters. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I feel like I have no sense of its grand ambition. You know, with, with a, a, and I hate continuing to compare it to Mad Men, but it's the easiest comparison. They're yeah. both AMC shows and both set, uh, both period, period pieces, yeah, both period. business world, uh, mysterious lead man with a mysterious past. With, with Mad Men, it was never, there wasn't a, a set goal in the pilot, just an internal mystery. Who is this guy? Mm -hmm. Who yeah. is this guy? And they started peeling back those layers and offering us reasons to care about every member of the cast. Some people took weird. <laughs> Look at that. that. Look at that. that. Oh my God. That is a Cabbage Patch doll uh -huh. with a Jerry curl, <laughs> yeah. but it is a white child. It is. If you're watch, if you're listening to this live, you can't Stop see. Stop flipping them back and forth. It's <laughs> so creepy. Stop doing that. Cabbage Patch doll. No, that is the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. Oh my God, he's Those, staring right he's at you. He's got so lidless cute. eyes. Right into my soul. Their Ugh. eyes are painted on, just so you know, they're not the like moving eyes. They're yeah, I know. They're on. like stickers. Yeah. Oh, that's worse. They're not. Yeah. They're not painted. They're stickers. No, they're stickers. Because then like, you could like <laughs> peel them off. <laughs> Steven, Steven, that's, that's not, not appropriate. This show has turned into a horror film. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I think an episode like this was necessary <laughs> at this stage in the show's development because we need to start peeling those layers back and having a reason why we care about anybody other than Cameron and Donna, mm -hmm. um, who have been given you know a lot of uh, great emotional material from the start. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, we open on this interesting dream sequence with Gordon um, that I kind of want to unpack here at the top, and then we're gonna talk more about his journey later on. Okay. Um, so he's he's there, he's working on the computer, um, he's working on the build, and he notices a flower starting to bloom from the circuit board. Mm -hmm. crazy. Um, yeah, crazy. And he tries to reach for it, and as he reaches for it, it grows bigger, and he can't quite reach it, uh, and then he, we learn that he's asleep, and he shocks himself, falls out of his chair, wakes up, mm -hmm. finishes his beer, and goes home. Right. Right. Don't forget to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You got to finish your beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before um, you drive home. What do, right. what do we think? What do we think that this flower represents? I want I want to kind of throw out some ideas, and then um, I'll kind of give my take. It uh, clearly represents that we're not killing an animal in this episode. Well, I was actually going to say, it's kind of part of the motif that they've started, where it's kind of like this nature and technology mm -hmm. kind of going against each other or mixing, where it starts with the armadillo and then the bird, mm -hmm. and now this flower. I believe there was another one that I'm forgetting. But there was another kind of like natural thing, like mixing mm -hmm. in with this uh, Silicon Prairie. Mm -hmm. And like... I don't know. I th I think it maybe the flower represents kind of like growth and like the the fact that this this is also I think we kind of forgot because it's so clear that this is Cameron's project that we kind of forgot that Gordon is also putting in a ton of work and mm -hmm. uh, creativity and thought into it. Mm -hmm. So I think it kind of helps us r remember that it's also his creation as well. Yeah. Uh, I, here's. Do you have a Do you have a thought? I know. Okay. Here's Here's what I'm thinking. I think <laughs> what, that there's. Uh, what Jesse said is exactly what I thought. I think that there's a That's few. There's yeah. a few possible ways to approach it, mm -hmm. and I think uh, part of it, if you're seeing it as his dream and his potential growing, and it just being out of reach. Yeah. Um, you know the the. Okay possibility, hope, flowering out of this thing, and he just can't touch it. It's growing without him. Yeah. The fact that he thinks no matter how much effort, no matter what he puts into this machine, even if he builds it and something grows from it, it's not for him. Mm. And considering how joyless he is, that makes a lot of sense to me. On the other hand, considering that it's something that's growing from this, this, if you think of the computer as a garden, something that he is meticulously uh, creating and tending and building, and something is growing almost like a weed from it yeah. without, his, without his approval mm -hmm. that he can't touch. 
To me, the flower in many ways is Cameron. It's something that he cannot control, that is the future, mm -hmm. that is, you know, beautiful, not just aesthetically, but, you know, in, uh, in its complexity and in its ambition, mm -hmm. how large it wants to grow, and he ultimately can't touch it. I think that there's something, there's something to that. And then, I, I wanted to talk about Gordon to the end, but now I'm, I'm just, I'm plugged in, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, it's all yeah. Right. All right, the back. fact is, he gets shocked by the machine. We see a little bolt yeah. of electricity. Yeah. And we, we have that, uh, that dead body lying also, in the electrified mm, water also yeah, at electrified, the end. Yeah. This idea that, you know, the way that he is living his life, the pace that he's living at, having this lack of control and being so desperately tied to making this thing happen could kill him. Yeah, sure. And he yeah. ultimately has very little control over it. And that's got to be agonizing. You know, I've been searching for a reason to like this guy who does a lot of really repugnant things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's kind of just a big imbecile. Right. Yeah. But that fear has led me to some empathy for him. And I think it, it couldn't have happened at a better time. Yeah. Except maybe a few episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I agree with all of that kind of stuff. I think that he is out of control, and as we see in this episode, he tries to assert control, and it completely backfires on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, every every time he tries to like grab onto something, it slips out of his hands. Yeah, I mean, what he does to Cameron, you know, the way that he kind of like rips control out from under her yeah, yeah. in you know this very chauvinistic move. Very uncool. Yeah. Very uncool. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't like that at all. The, mm -hmm. When he just throws the Cameron thing and Joe just at somebody who doesn't know or need to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of another moment for me where I was like, this guy, I mean, I don't know. There's too many things in the show, like like even like him buying the brick, which, like, I don't know. I just, from the get go, <laughs> you a -hole. from the get go, just when this dummy. guy's like, hey, you don't happen to be looking for this, I'm like, isn't this like the oldest trick in the book? Are yeah. you mm -hmm. serious? I, but it's I like you don't. Gordon. I was like, I knew. Well, hand I hand over the money to open the box. Yeah, I didn't know exactly yeah. that it was a brick, although I was like, eh, probably a brick in there or a rock or something, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, there's, something with weight. There's no reason they wouldn't accept a return if they're sold out. They're mm -hmm. gonna sell it within right. a minute. Yeah, it's just a sucker. Yeah, uh, that and his uh, the. The only reason why he agrees to buy the Cabbage Patch kid is because he thinks that Donna will then have sex with him. <laughs> like it's yeah, because he's drunk and he just wants to have sex. Yeah. It's clear that he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you. And then, like, continues kissing her. And she's like, okay, thanks. Good night. Yeah, good night, <laughs> Junkie. Uh, boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear that he was offering that up as like uh, eh, maybe mm -hmm. like make you feel a bit better. She was like, no, because that that is the way to get into a woman's pants is offer to buy the many thing. Yeah, <laughs> is yeah. is money. Just I was any, yeah. jerks. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to that myself. I had to buy this ring one time and uh, a lot of other marriage things. corner. <laughs> Uh, and that's how you do it, as far as I know. You mm -hmm. buy a lot, a lot of, of dinners. Yeah, mm -hmm. dinners. And, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, honey. Yep. <laughs> um, you guys are terrible. She knows I'm that I'm. Sorry. She knows we that I'm joking. That. She knows who she married. Um, we don't mean that. Yeah. Liars. We do not mean that. We do not mean it at all. Um, Stop smiling. Well, so <laughs> it was almost a nice little. <laughs> Almost a nice moment between the two of them when he did get in bed and he was sort of being playful. Yeah. When she sort of laughed and like, like oh, you feel like there was a little bit of a moment where like at some point he was charming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not with his beer breath. No, no, not with his beer breath. And the fact is, he's never home. Uh, his mm -hmm. his girls ask him, you know, are we going to be safe from this hurricane? And he's talking about how how Houston's going to get clobbered. <laughs> yeah, you know how they're going to get walloped, and it's not helping them at all. Mm -hmm. He's he's not a he's not a perfect partner. And then I also hated the way that he treated Debbie in the episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially yeah. when Debbie is talking about how like he's a genius mm -hmm. and like really defending him mm -hmm. to Joe, and it's like and like talking about how he's created a piece of art. And it's like he's he's so like dismissive to her all the time. Mm -hmm. I just uh, it's it's hard to find a way to like him. Right. And, and to me, I my greatest hope 
you know, obviously his life is going to get a lot more difficult because I'm sure, based on the events of this episode, mm -hmm. uh, Cameron's idea to change the OS is going to go through, and his he's yeah. going to have to redo the entire, uh, you know, chip array. But I hope that this moment, this near-death experience, seeing this person lying in the water, who could have been him, someone else potentially who was rushing out to get the Cabbage ca Patch Kid mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, in the middle of this storm, when they should have been at home, safe with their family. Yeah, I didn't get a really good look at the face, but like now I'm thinking, like, is that was it him? Did he see his face? I honestly, and you know, we should have freeze framed it, yeah. and I love to go back. It honestly looked like Donna to me. It didn't look like a guy. It looked like a lady. I thought, I saw I thought it was a beard. Beard. I, I thought know. it was just a guy. Yeah. Okay. But this also happened right after he threw a brick. The brick that he bought window. for eighty dollars, yeah. making good use of that brick. His eighty dollar yeah. brick <laughs> through a window. Um, and so, like, that's the peak of him out of control. Yeah. Like, that is him careening out of control. And I don't even know, like, we didn't even see if he gave the kids the cabbage he, patch. We didn't, well, they he, were soaked through. They have soft yeah. bodies that can't dry <laughs> properly. Another reason why they're yeah. ineffective they're toys. Wait, yeah, but they're, so, they're soft bodies that you can wring out. Mm. I want to wring my child out, though. That yeah, sounds terrible. It's a yeah, yeah there are, it, that's a kid. Yeah. It's a child, yo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Probably those stickers have peeled off. By those now. eyes, they now Zero have eyes. sightless <laughs> eye sockets What's where eyes used to be? be. What's a cowboy supposed to do without any eyes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we definitely didn't see him give those to the, to uh, the, to the girls. Mm -hmm. And stealing for your daughters. Yeah. This is the lowest of lows. Yeah. If you're going to steal for someone, though, steal for your daughters. I would agree with that. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we move on and, and move back and talk about the first day yeah. in it at length before we get back into the storm stuff, I want to talk about iTunes. Don't skip ahead, even if you know what I'm saying. Why? Because it's important. Why do I talk about iTunes every week? I'll tell you. Because it is the only way that you can uh, effectively support this network for free what? without spending a dime, Seriously? taking a second. And it helps everybody here, top to bottom, at AfterBuzz TV. We put out between 60 and 70 hours of free content a week. It's a crazy, incredible wealth of content. I don't think that there's another service that provides this much podcasting content about your favorite shows on the web. Point me to them, and we'll take them down. We'll produce <laughs> more content. Why? Because we're crazy like that. We're loco in La Cabeza. But I'll tell you what. Not only... Does it help us get sponsors which keep our lights on and our doors open? It helps us know that we're making the kind of podcast that you want to hear about your favorite show. Mm -hmm. It's the only way that we can get direct feedback from you and get a great shout out here on the program. Shout them out. Yeah. Uh, we got a new a new review on iTunes from uh, Diana Yak. Uh, Diana. Five stars. Great fun. Thank you, Diana. W wonderful job making these podcast. Wonderful job making these podcasts. They add so much fun. To watching the series. Oh. How long did it take for her to do that? I guarantee you under 20 seconds. Just a nice maybe sentiment that lets us know sure, that maybe, we're doing our jobs. Maybe Spell Trek series. Maybe. Maybe. But maybe. I'm pretty sure that she didn't. I think she knew because she's uh, smart enough she's to a, leave, she's leave a, a review. Cookie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she seems like the smart type. Yeah. That's true. All right. Uh, moving on. I want to talk about this first day. We've got uh, Joe and Cameron uh, mm -hmm. in bed together. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, post coitus. Uh, no, not no, no. During, during coitus. coitus. Mid coitus. Mid -coitus. Like, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That is a sightless, this is a creepy lie. Cabbage Patch doll that I Steven just, has thrown up on the screen. I just if you're not watching note, on YouTube, you, you, you're, you, missing, this you're yeah, missing this. Yeah, these sight uh, gags are not coming through. I just want to make Sightless note, gags. Sightless gags, <laughs> That uh, when the sticker isn't there, it's not white behind it. It would be the flesh just tone. It would be the flesh color? tone. Yeah. It would be the flesh tone, oh, Steven. that's so much better. If yeah. it's just flesh He's going to work on that, eyes. and he's going to get back to I'm us. I'm just letting you on that. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. In any case... Uh, they're in bed together. They're either having sex or he's performing oral. He was about to perform yeah. more oral on her yeah. after her line of questioning. She wants to know what's up with the scars on his chest. For real this yeah, time. For real, he says, yeah. like, you want to know how I got these scars? And he puts, <laughs> puts his knife in her mouth. Yeah. And it was real weird. Man. Really yeah. weird. That story didn't make any sense yeah. at all. No, but he starts <laughs> spinning BS again. This, yeah. like, folksy BS mm -hmm. with, like, it, so many specifics. He's, like, he's just telling this super long story that's going nowhere. 
64 sh like Chevy yeah, it was Neon. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. yellow, love at first sight. And it's like, it, when are you going to stop spinning Americana and say something real? Yeah, and yeah. Cameron, again, has and the BS best detector, BS detector yeah. around. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, you, you're not telling me the truth. Yeah. Well, now the hilarious thing is we've been watching the show long enough that we can tell oh, yeah. when he's doing a bit and when he's mm -hmm. telling the truth, because when he's telling the truth, he doesn't use ten words where, where one will do. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. He, he just says the truth, mm -hmm. and that's it. He's not trying to make you feel special. He's just telling you the truth, which is infinitely more special. And uh, Cameron had a really great line in that as well, which was uh, authenticity is what inspires people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought that is kind of like the main clash between the two of them is that he's so corporate and just as focused on, like, you know, the bottom line. Well, he's also focused on image. And, and focused on image. Yeah. And she's all about, like, that connection and, mm -hmm. like, uh, creating something new and different. And so I thought that was a really good just tagline for, like, wh what their relationship is. Yeah. Uh, I agree with that. I think it also <laughs> speaks very, very candidly to uh, the dichotomy between Joe and, and Bosworth. Bosworth as well, yeah. Bos, yeah. as he is now referred to and forever shall be yeah. named. Yeah, just forever, forever. Bos. Yeah. Yeah. Because the whole team loves him. Yeah. He wouldn't. He doesn't necessarily know what to do around a computer. I mean, granted, he's been doing it for 20 years, so let's not insult his intelligence. Yeah, don't do that. You know, he's not, he's not the guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, you know, everybody loves him because he is authentic. Yeah, he's not sure. going to make, use a quote to make a point. He's just going to say, well, sometimes you just got to grab your balls and jump. Yeah. And everyone laughs because they know that's his yeah. truth. And that's a saying. That is not a saying. Regardless <laughs> of that offensive saying. Um, yeah, I'm like, which, what is the time where you grab your balls and jump? Let me tell you what I grab. When you're jumping into a pool with two beach balls. Anyway. <laughs> um, playing ba multiple basketball games. Yell. <laughs> I love that Boz has gone from this character that we're like, oh, he's the man and we're going to hate him and oh, he's yeah. going to be this jerk to this lovable father figure to Cameron totally. and, and everyone's favorite and like knows how to kind of one-up Joe yeah. and, and knock him down by being folksy. I love this character. And yeah. I feel like a lot of that has to come from Toby Huss's performance mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and be not necessarily being the person that they had envisioned when they wrote the pilot, when they wrote the part originally, and realizing that he has such charisma and he has such warmth to him mm -hmm. that this John Bosworth is different p potentially from the John Bosworth has conceived. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so we have this scene where uh, we're unveiling the prototype of the computer, which is super exciting because yes. we've been waiting to get here for five episodes. Um, and it's everyone's put in a ton of work, and mm -hmm. it's finally here. And uh, just when Joe is about to have his crowning moment, his crowning mm -hmm. glory, Lev says, let Boz do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone, let Boz, Boz turn it on. Boz, Boz, Boz. 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 Also, beautiful LCD screen. Beautiful. Yeah. Blue beautiful. text, man. Blue no text. one else is rocking blue text. Uh -uh. Everyone's got that green stuff. Man. Ew. <laughs> I love that Cameron joins in with the bod stuff yeah. and the look she gives to Joe. Yeah. Well, there's a little. She loves. There's it. a little uh, tension between them right. since the coitus in interruptus mm -hmm. of uh, correct of yeah. questions. Yeah. 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 Well, also we now get to see finally we get to see where Cameron wound up moving. She yeah. moved in with Yo Yo. Yeah, with Yo Yo and some <laughs> and some, some rocker guy that plays a guitar. I call he doesn't it, have a name. Yeah, I think yeah, his name yeah. is just shirtless vest. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say that Shirtless Vest is welcome to stay on the show. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah. I love how, <laughs> I love the scene later on in the episode where she throws her clock radio at the wall, yeah. and he just kind of takes that as a cue to come out shirtless and crack a beer and say, what's going on in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, shirtless that is exactly Is that what? his game? Is that how he get ba bags uh, all the women? It seemed well, to work just fine We've yet him. to see Well, here's the thing. When Cameron's stuck, she he needs bagged, to get he, unstuck. He bagged Cameron. He was the unsticker in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying scene. We've yet to see it. Oh, got it. You uh, would well, prefer it's, it's to It's very see important that Yell sees these scenes. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't We established this last week. That's right. Next time we next time she a show gets made, 
about a renegade businessman who tries to uh, upstart a, a computer company during the computer revolution of the early 80s. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure it's on pay cable. <laughs> that's the same one. That's now it's just like... sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can see Archer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, stop. Did you give it goat For those eyes? Listening, <laughs> Please. We have the scariest cabbage patch. Now we just have a slideshow of oh, cabbage patches. Of terror. This one, he's supposed to have no eyes, but he just looks like he's sleeping. Yeah. And then we had another one that looked like a vampire. Can we get that one back? Yeah. yeah. What? What's up with his eyes, man? It looks like his pupils <laughs> like go over his lids. Uh, <laughs> now it just looked like he like blunk and then became sightless again. It's so weird. Yeah, it's, so let's let's all right. Uh, let's, let's get back into this terror show. So Cameron is now living with Yo Yo and shirtless yeah, vest. Yeah, shirtless vest. Um, mm, and shirtless Yo Yo vest. makes her. It's almost like the coder equivalent of a mixtape. Yeah. yeah, he makes is. her his own version of, yeah. of adventure made specifically mm -hmm. for her. It's so cute. Yeah, just some stupid thing I did. It's like four yeah. That I stayed lists. up all night making yeah. for you See? after I let you move in with me, and then I probably at a discount, and then gave you rides to work every day because we're best friends. Um, yeah. I just want to clarify for the men out there, this is how you get into a woman's pants, not buying her kids cabbage patch dolls. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, I just... You, just be, you just be undeniably attractive and don't wear shirts uh, and just a vest. That's all you have to do. Yeah. To get I was talking about no, Yo-Yo's romance. Yo-Yo's oh. romance oh, does not work. It's working so well for Yo-Yo. Yeah, I'm just not saying working. He's, that's he's... something sweet you should do, not buy Well, he's kids. just, okay, now, this first is of what all. what you do to get into the friend zone. Yeah. Well, no, there's no... Oh, God. We're not I was about to laugh and talk about how it's just so cute that, that the Cabbage Patch is just sleeping through all this. <laughs> but, uh, no, because here's the thing. He's just, he's, aww. <laughs> he's bet on the wrong horse. Because Cameron isn't going... She's not attracted to a stable, secure, mm -mm. sweet kind of man. Mm -mm. That's not who she is right now. No mm -hmm. matter how long you know, his ponytail is. I, I would agree with you that uh, making strong... You know, gestures that, you know, obviously show a lot of time and that obviously show that you know the person would be a great way to meet someone and to Thank to you. forge a relationship. Unless yeah, that's... you are super attractive and don't wear a shirt. Well, yeah, you should like be to, living with... I like to have a with... mix of the two, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, you need to be a little shirtless vest and a, and a, a lot of a, lot a little of bit of nice gifts. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, gifts. Cameron, uh, you know, she's... Impressed by, by, or she's kind of unimpressed by the uh, by the prototype. She's like, well, that's it, I guess. And she's uh, she's coding. She's working on um, some peripheral drivers. Mm -hmm. And then she's bored or she's frustrated, and she pops in the adventure disc, and it immediately charms her. It asks her, "Are you Cameron Howe?" And it's like, hi, Cameron, you're a rad programmer. And she's like, oh, thank you, computer. You're so nice. Not connecting it with Yo-Yo, because it's Yo-Yo who's saying it, yeah, not yeah. the computer. Mm -hmm. But it gives her this Inspiration. fireworks. And we get the background from the doll. Yeah, finally, we find out what's going on with that creepy yeah, doll. Yeah, the creepy doll. It's a doll that she and her dad made together, and he brought it to life. He yeah, gave yeah. it a voice. He gave it a personality. Wiggles and because of that... Yeah. She had love for and it. And she's held on to it this entire time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, she, just notice that that doll has a snuggly body. It does, but it also has a snuggly face. Whatever. And it's yeah. also also not yeah. the not creepiest Here's the thing. thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, a Cabbage Patch doll is a weapon because that skull, the head, will crack your skull. Mm -hmm. Someone swings that soft body, the hard head is going to connect and it's going to crack your skull We're open. We're arming children with Cabbage Patch dolls. Yes. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, she has this be beautiful idea. Let's make an operating system that we can communicate with, that has a personality, that we can build a relationship with. This is huge, way ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah you know, it's really cool. Like Very when? Close to when did we? Called, when mm, Siri? When did we get Siri? Three years ago? Yeah. Four maybe? Yeah. Well, Android had Siri before, but they weren't good at marketing it. No, they weren't. <laughs> That's why they're Android. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's all about the marketing people. It Who is. cares about infrastructure? It's all about marketing. Marketed. I'm on Team Joe. No, I'm not. He's no. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on Team Cameron. In any case, uh, she wants to implement this immediately. But that's the thing. She doesn't like say, hey, Gordon, I have an idea. It's, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to think. It's going to talk. 
you know, yeah. we're it's gonna have a personality. I need I need 354k more of RAM. And he's like, uh, no. no, no. And all the dudes laugh, and he's like, yes, I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Gordon. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she's not really going about it dip- diplomatically. Mm-mm. It's she a doesn't hu- know how to. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a huge leap. It's it's not what they set out to do. Mm-hmm. I personally, as great of an idea as it is, I think it's very reasonable to sit on it for the second generation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. thought Joe's response to her saying like, "Oh, maybe in the second generation, let's do it." Does he's right. Super reasonable. Right. Yeah. You know, and I'm worried that their personal relationship could now sink the entire project because he's not going to be thinking clearly. Granted, I think his experience. Uh, just interacting with it for just a moment was life-changing yeah. and a huge eye-opener to what this thing could be. And the flashlights. And the flashlights, which yeah. we're going to get to. The yeah. uh, Sorry, hurricane zappers, yeah, sure. which we're going to get to. Yes. Um, you know, and he's not going to want to back, back away from this. But we're already introducing huge evolutions to what a PC can be in this card of PC. Yeah. It is portable. It is lighter than 15 pounds. Mm-hmm. It has a liquid crystal display. It is faster. It is half the price. That is, that is already a leap. Yeah. And yeah. I'm worried that introducing this massive change this at this stage in the game could be catastrophic. Mm-hmm. It's quite likely that it could be. Um, yeah. It's also going to set them way back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the scenes that Cameron had with uh, John Bosworth. Yeah. So, uh, well, first of all, after, um, after Gordon uh, totally, you know, leaks to the team, to the coders, uh, in a way to usurp her authority, he says, you know, I'm not banging the project manager. Uh, and then uh, she assembles all the coders and tells them, no, I'm in charge. Someone tells you so- to do something and it's not me, you ignore it. I'm the person who tells you what to do. And they all undermine her authority by laughing about the Joe McMillan thing. So she goes right up to Gordon and she smooches him hard. Smooches hard him smooch. hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like... La- so, he looked so <laughs> scared. <laughs> 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 Make it sad. Uh, no, yeah. No, thank you. yeah. Last night was amazing. Yeah. And he's just like... Uh, it, you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. You guys you know all, Donna. You guys know Donna, right? Speaking of Donna. Oh, you mean Donna, the woman who like saved your behind because you really aren't that great. We had mm-hmm. a brief Donna business trip. Uh, yeah. Well, well, we'll the we'll business get, meeting. We'll, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get into that no. in in a moment. Um, but uh, yeah, so Bosworth kind of invites her into his office. He's like, "You're not going anywhere. It's hurricane. Yeah, going on. I'm gonna make you a Cardiff special. Mm. Yeah." Mm. Which just looks like it looks like Long Island iced tea. I think he just combined everything. Yeah, I was in his kind of bar. wondering what it could be. There seemed to be some sort of orange substance in there. Maybe. Orange soda. Orange soda. Mm-hmm. Orange soda and vodka. Orange soda, orange or soda and whiskey. Uh, slow <laughs> gin feels. Yeah. yeah. Something. Um, like that. Yeah. Except instead of instead of club, instead of club soda, it's orange soda. Listeners, yeah. if you have a uh, recipe for a card of special, please let us know. Yeah. Tweet yeah. at yeah. tweet at us uh, or or leave it on the YouTube or the iTunes. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. And we might even try it. Yeah, might even try, try it. Maybe episode ten, we can all have a card of special. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, he basically he he tells her, you have to be smart with your choices and how you handle yourself here because there are people, all over this team, who want to see you fail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're the future, and that's terrifying. Mm-hmm. The future looks like you, someone mm-hmm. who does dress edgy and doesn't care about wearing a bra and is in, is a genius and is unique and doesn't care about procedure is just trying to make the best possible thing mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's scary to know that you will one day be obsolete and one of the reasons why i love john bosworth so much and i, mm-hmm. I chime in if you agree is that not only does he see it but he embraces her for being that he yeah. accepts that his time is ending and that he's just trying to keep this company afloat and make sure that these people have jobs. Yeah, out of loyalty, I feel like, to the company. Yeah. yeah. It's just really amazing to have a character. that we You never see that in life or TV, that mm-hmm. there's a character who knows, hey, I am, I'm the past and this is the future and, and I don't like it or understand it, but I'm going to accept it and I'm mm-hmm. going to nurture it and I'm going to help it because, you know, that's what you got to do. Time moves. Yeah. Um, so it's just really, I love him all of a sudden. <laughs> it's freaking me out. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought it was really cool also to see that she appreciated that from mm-hmm. him and then see her open up to him 
about her past and camp and where she started learning computers. And I like that little joke he has about her saying, like, oh, I didn't have many friends. He's like, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, Shocker of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm shocked. Oh, hell. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool to get her to open up as a character, too. Because not in the same way that Joe has been, but she's certainly been fairly closed off. She's been guarded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very guarded. And it was nice to see her open up with it with a true story about yeah where she fell in love with computers, which is what he asked her, when did you fall in love? And we learned from last week's episode, by the way, the importance of the doll, we learned that uh, her dad died very when she it's was true. young, yeah. mm-hmm. so like that's how important that doll was to her. Mm-hmm. Why she carries in the back. It's why she carries it with her, it's probably like the only thing that she has a connection with her dad, mm-hmm. like left. So like just get, getting more Cameron and like making her like, even though she's still like a cool, edgy character mm-hmm. who uh, who rebel against anything she can, yeah. right. she still has a lot of depth and emotion to her and vulnerability. Absolutely. Perhaps yeah. there's like a, a little bit of a parallel for her in having a relationship with John Bosworth that makes her feel like her father did. I think for sure. So maybe why that's why she's going to open up to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, we have to move on. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about Joe and Donna. So you know, Gordon is very concerned. Uh, midway through the episode that this OS development is going to completely derail his project. And Donna, you know, she is she is loyal to him to a fault. Do you know what I mean? I, I mean, we'll, we're, so we're, we're going to talk about maybe potentially a way that she might get a little disloyal. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in terms of his career, she she may gripe about it, but ultimately... Um, she's accepted the fact that she is the woman behind the man in this relationship. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like it, but she knows that that's what the life that she's set for herself. Um, and she tells him, no, you're a genius. You're going to make this thing, and, and, and don't let them stop you. And he says, well, okay, don't hate me for this, but before this whole thing happened, I invited Joe over to the house for mm-hmm. dinner. Um, so now... Now, during the hurricane, Joe's there. Gordon's not. He's off looking for the Cabbage Patch doll, and she knows that that's yeah, what's she up. Yeah. She's like, if I know my husband, he is right now frantically searching for this Cabbage Patch because he totally forgot about it, um, which is at the truth. Bodies breaking windows, buying mm-hmm. bricks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just yeah. off Just having Gordon. a gay old Good time. Good old Gordon. You know <laughs> yeah. how he does. Good old Gordo. So, uh, you know, she starts kind of ha- she starts kind of having having to deal with Joe by herself. And Joe is having to deal with the kids. And I love seeing how awkward he is. Um, you're, the shoe you're sitting on is from was handmade in Italy. Yeah. yeah. Where's that? Far away. <laughs> yeah. when, when he greets the children, he just yeah. goes, evening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gre- <laughs> greetings. <laughs> yeah. You don't greet children like, evening. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, they're obviously, they're scared by the storm. And he takes an opportunity to do something that I feel like it starts as kind of the f- same kind of folksy BS. Yeah. Um, you know, he didn't have someone to give him a hurricane zapper. And I don't think that it necessarily came from, I feel like it came from a place of necessity and a place of wanting to give people something rather than, uh, you know, actual connection with these kids well, at the start. I think it, I think it started similar to him making the fort. It was like, a, here's something you can do. Okay, get in. Great, now you're out of my way. Mm-hmm. And so I think the, the Storm Zappers was another like, Oh, you're scared and running around and being obnoxious? Here, deal mm-hmm. with it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, and also, if we know anything about Joe, it's that he loves being the hero. Mm-hmm. And this is like a great True. opportunity for Joe to be a hero because, like, these kids are so scared. The mom is, like, trying to deal with it the best she can. And here comes Joe becoming a project manager of Operation Let's Make This Hurricane Not So Scary. <laughs> and. Like, did anyone did anyone get uh, it's just occurring to me now and I know that Donna already has a romantic interest outside of her outside of her marriage mm-hmm. but uh, do you guys watch True Detective? Yeah. Did anyone get a vibe from like when uh when um when uh McConaughey, because I can't remember his character. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cole. When Cole came over to Hart's house, and he and his wife were like connecting on an emotional level, and then later on, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. It, uh, you know, what, true I detective. Think, I, what I am I, get, an a-hole? I, I, I get what you're going for. I think it was more of Donna 
wanting to not like Joe mm-hmm. and then realizing that Joe is a nice guy, at least he seems like one with her kids, and that she misses Gordon. I think she legitimately missed Gordon mm-hmm. that entire mm-hmm. time. Yeah. And it was just nice to have someone there with her children. I prefer and that. that. And that it should be Gordon there, and instead it's Joe. I think also there's a little bit of him, you know, in her mind, he's this jerk who played that trick and messed with Cameron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's seeing him kind of be more human than Mm -hmm. she's seen him in the past. Yeah. He's not, you know, evening. He is, you know, dancing with the flashlights. And that was, I think, he was more human for her. And I mean, he is lying to children. There is no such thing as Hurricane Zappers. You shut your mouth, Because that was my nickname in high school for basketball. They called me the Hurricane Zapper, uh, okay. and uh, but there's no such thing. And like, is that true? No. Uh, no. Uh, he totally McMillan does. Yeah, but uh, but like, but he was lying to the children. But mm-hmm. it, but I think he was finding a way to be more human with them. And when the kid was like, "Don't be careful with it," he was like, "You gave them names, and they're your friends, and mm-hmm. you care for them." And like that was the mm-hmm. the turning mm-hmm. moment. And they put on a great performance for the kids. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, it I was think a great performance. For I think all a lot of, of what what Cameron said to him sunk in at the beginning of the show about being authentic and also being human or sounding yeah. like a mm-hmm. human instead of a simulacrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I I bought a lot of this stuff with the girls. I didn't think necessarily that he was like putting them off or okay. here go play with this I kind of bought a lot of that because I don't know maybe with the whole like reveal about his mother and like mm-hmm. that she used to, they used to go and watch the stars maybe her and Caden Zappers came from her I, I don't know it could have maybe. maybe I mean that was a half truth like yeah. he, he didn't he didn't finish it with like she was on drugs but that was I don't think he did because he said it and Donna like zip past it with I her think next Matt line. has something he wants to say. Oh, t- Matt, yeah. Matt, Matt. What's okay. Right? Yeah. What here's, what, here's, here's what has just occurred to me, and Isaac, that's, it's, it's a really, really good point. Because <laughs> his mother mm-hmm. failed him yeah. Yeah. utterly. Yeah. She was the fun one. She was the one who was alive, who wasn't like Joe McMillan Sr., mm-hmm. who is, you know, corporate image manipulator douche, okay? Uh, you know, all about the money, all about success. His mother was the person who taught him to love life and mm-hmm. and was someone who saw the best in everything. Mm-hmm. Because of her behavior, he spent two years in a hospital bed, two years that he'll never get back. Mm-hmm. And he will always resent her for that. He will always resent that side of himself for that because loving loving someone who was so wild, Mm -hmm. who did appreciate everything in the world, and maybe, you know, was hooked on drugs, but uh, to me that just, that spoke to like pot more than something worse than that. But was just somebody who he just said she tried everything. Oh, he did. Yeah. All right. Well, then so maybe I'm wrong. She experimented with. Drugs. She experimented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in any case, uh, I think that purging that human part of himself very much stems from that experience. It's the most traumatic experience in his n- entire life, yeah. and he had to play catch up ever since. And I think it's why also he has kind of an inferiority complex. Why he needs to be in control. Why he needs to be top dog because. He wouldn't have it any other way. He had to work his way back into the human experience after being in a bed for two years. I also think there's no way Joe McMillan Sr. stayed with his mom. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way that those... I don't don't even know if they were a couple ever. Yeah, it's true. Like, it just doesn't seem like Joe McMillan would be... Sr. would be into that type of woman. Although, Joe McMillian Jr. is into Cameron, who is also a free spirit, who's crazy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, like, different. So maybe, like, father, like... Junior. Yeah, well, he's... he's, he's uh, <laughs> well, father-like. Junior. And, uh, well, and, and dad did hit on her, too. Yeah. Um, you know, but it, it, I agree. I think that there's definitely some appeal there in, uh, you know, being tempted by that thing that kind of that lets you down mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. you know kind of doing the edible thing a little bit uh, I definitely see it and I'm very very eager to see where where he goes from here yeah. now that we've seen a crack yeah. in the veneer and we have this very key bit of information how can he continue to grow is he you know the guy on that billboard who's trying to be mysterious in in that uh, in that cologne yeah. ad, mm-hmm. yeah, that you know, he's not. 
he's, he's not. not. No, he can no. be some. Yeah. He can be someone else. He can be himself. He doesn't have to be an image. Sure. I thought that the also him going out into the the storm and doing the 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 hurricane zapper thing. I don't know. I thought maybe in a way like that rain was like cleansing him. It was of a baptizing something. Moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Something like mm -hmm. that. I like beautiful. that symbolism. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. His shirt right. was wet. You can yes. see. Uh, can see uh, uh, but just before we go, we got to mention Donna and Hunt going on a business Bis trip. Yeah. Biz and Nasty yeah. trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Biz Nasty trip. Biz Nasty yeah. trip. Yeah. Uh, you know, and Hunt is kind of like, like, I was going to um, he's probing her a little bit. I know that that's uh, silly <laughs> sounding. Interesting choice of words. Uh, about, about her work with, uh, with Gordon yeah. and, uh, and his project and what he's up to. Uh, he also is trying to set himself apart from Gordon by saying, yeah, you are the woman behind the man with Gordon who doesn't get credit. Speaking of not getting credit, I need you to come with me so that you can be a part of the credit mm -hmm. when we talk mm -hmm. to my bosses about all of your great work. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He continues to just dangle that carrot, mm -hmm. and all of the men, except for John Bosworth on this show, ultimately suck. So I'm just waiting for Hunt to do to coerce her into into sleeping with him, and then just turning into a dick. And I really don't want that to but happen. It takes two to tango. Even if he I does coerce her, she I, you can tell that she at least there's a part of her that she needs someone to pay attention to her and mm -hmm. like give her like credit for all the work she mm -hmm. does. It's true. So I mean. It's both of them. I feel like are going into this kind of knowing like there's a possibility that we're gonna hook up. True. I think even if they're not thinking it. I think it's more that that she appreciates it, and he he's very clear that he's doing what he knows will get where he wants to go. Mm -hmm. I think she is just appreciating it, and I think that she's you know playing with fire here and and tempting herself. I think when it comes down to it, and what we'll see is that um, he's going to make a move and she's going to be appalled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know that she's going to be appalled. I hope that she's appalled, but I think that in, like, I don't know, these kinds of scenarios, you don't realize how far you've gone down a certain road until you're there. Mm -hmm. I think she's sort of being okay with it, especially because Gordon's not going to give her the attention that she wants or the kind of praise that she mm. wants unless he's in trouble or something. Yeah. yeah, ultimately, maybe it's better for her if she does cheat on Gordon. Maybe. I, mean, I don't know. I don't, don't want to be that guy, but Gordon's terrible to her. Yep. Like, almost constantly. He yeah. does get the dolls. I'm going to go on the record and say it's never okay to cheat on your spouse. I don't, yeah. I don't think it's ever okay um, either, but I'm saying it, like, for her as a person, <laughs> like, she might need... Like, maybe this is the kind of thing, like, the wake-up moment where it's like, wait a minute, Gordon isn't being fair to her or a good spouse. I'm still going to disagree for anyone listening. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I do have a, a question with, with Hunt probing her on, on the... Yes. <laughs> Matt's word, not mine. Yep. My word, yep. Um, with her, him asking about, like, the design and stuff like that, do we think Hunt is going to use this information in the future? That's possible. I think it's possible. I, I'm wondering... If uh, when they're in this meeting with his bosses, if he doesn't say, you know, Cardiff Electric is putting out a computer mm -hmm. and we have in our midst the woman who basically came up with the key design element. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't we make a computer? Which will lead to bad press for Cardiff Electric because they lied about... It's going to come back and bite them. Yeah. And competition. I yeah. mean, it's also, I think, we saw when she went in to help Cardiff that she had to use... It, they used a different name. Right. She's a yeah. fair child. <clears throat> they used her mother's maiden name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, so. And so I think when this conversation started, when Hunt was probing her, um, I think that was... I feel like it's going to come back to bite her. Yeah. Because... She, they, it's a conflict of interest. Yeah. Um, yeah, he can't just. I don't think you can casually ask about that. Once he knows that information, yeah, that's. Uh, that's I wanted her to be careful. About so that, yeah. I'm not sure if he's going to use her to like help them or if he's using her because he loves peach pie. Yeah. 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 Love didn't bring the slice pie. though. She, nope. He asked very politely. He didn't deserve slice. her peach pie. He didn't pie ask for a slice politely. He was just like, I you love know, peach pie. if there's any, uh, you know, I if there's any left, low, any leftovers, bring me a slice. Bring me a yeah, slice. It wasn't polite. It wasn't ask. polite that's at not, all. That's not how you get peach pie, yeah, guys. That's not how you bring get it. Me a slice. All right. Is there any news this week? No. No. All right. Let's go to predictions. <gasps> And now, your After Buzz TV 
predictions. All right, folks. We got four episodes left. What do we want to see? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would we do this? That is Why? a no. Lee Pace and Cabbage Patch Child mashup uh, picture. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. Oh. oh, my God. I'm going to be honest, guys. Are you you're into this? it? No. Oh, okay. She might be into no, it. No, but it might have just ruined Lee Pace for Whoa. me. Whoa. Wow. Let's, let's see Lee Pace with his shirt off with those fa that, those facial features. <laughs> and I was going to say, we, we, did get, we did get Lee Pace shirtless a couple times and in his tidy whities. Yeah, yeah, no, it so. was so great. That was great. This is not, but that was great. Could you stop? Stop, Matt! Matt's <laughs> trying to make the face, and it's terrifying. All right, well, on predictions. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys kind of stole my thunder there. Stop doing that, Matt, please. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, I, you guys stole my, my fire. Nope. Um, no? Nope, not okay. at all. Just thought, <laughs> thunder just actually was more. Thought someone yeah. would catch yeah. that. Listen, Maybe if, you, if you want us to halt, Continue. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just that on this business trip, Something's definitely happened with Hunt and Donna. Okay, there's definitely a development there. I'm yeah. thinking about a couple things in the future. Yeah. Uh, one of them is maybe there's uh, some uh, some backlash with Cameron looking like she had sex with Gordon. Like, yeah. if Donna comes in mm -hmm. and like someone like drops a little thing, like oh, you know, like like mentions it. Like, that could come back and really hurt Gordon badly. I would agree with that. I mean, remember earlier in the season, we all thought that Gordon yeah. had previously had an affair in their marriage. Yeah. Uh, um, I uh, am going to jump in and say that I think um, that the Cameron and shirtless vest mm -hmm. thing is going to really bother Joe, and that's going to become an issue. Because mm. he seems like the kind of guy. Control freak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have a kind of like a nerdy kind of future prediction. Do it. Which is like these guys are making a computer that's like 20 years ahead of its time. So I'd be really interested to see how that affects technology in Ooh, this kind of alternate I love universe that. The ripples. that they're creating. <laughs> because like LCD screen and like a laptop and like the cooling system, like all of that kind of stuff did not exist until much later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or so was be, not used in a widespread yeah. fashion. It's interesting. So it'd be it'd be interesting to see and like the uh and like now the thing that Cameron's working on, it would be interesting to see like just to like see the world as a whole, how it's being affected by the stuff that's happening in this weird like side yeah. universe. Well, Joe does mention at the top of the when he the, where he's about to turn it on, he said this is gonna create a ripple effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very into it. Yeah. All right, folks, I want to thank you so much for joining us here on this episode. We're going to be back next week with the Episode 7 recap. Jesse Klein, where can the people find you? Uh, on Twitter, you can find me at JessKlein1, and you can also find me on the Defiance podcast here and the Marin podcast. All right, Yell Teagle. The people can find me online at yell.tv. That's Y-A-E-L.tv. And there you'll find info about the beautiful styling from Sirens Boudoir. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Google Plus at Yell Teagle. Y-A-E-L-T-Y-G-I-E-L -E -E And Isaac And you can find me on Twitter At Isaac Johnson Instagram The Isaac Johnson And you can check out my album Of singer-songwriter stuff <laughs> On iTunes It's called All the Things We Are Alright, lovely And you can find me on Twitter At Matt Lieberman That's M-A-T-T-L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N You can also find all my videos For SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd On YouTube I do the Defiance show And the Marin show with Jesse As well as the Under the Dome after show Which is going to be later this evening So if you watch any of those You can come recap them with me Folks, thank you so much We'll see you next week Good night From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>